Hey, my name is Pia and today we're speaking with 14 year old singer and songwriter Lucy Sugarman. So Lucy, you play piano, violin, drums, guitar, ukulele, you also ski, you're amazing at homework, you ace your grades and you're juggling this all in your teenage life. How do you manage that? Sometimes I feel like I'm really not but I guess I just deal with things as they come. I mean, at the moment I've got heaps of exams at school, I've got a violin exam and lots of gigs, but that's not stressful, that's fun. But guitar and piano are both really relaxing instruments to play and they're just really good. Does your age limit the amount of places you can perform? And well, of course it does because I'm not, I'm not 18 yet, so I guess like bars a lot of the time I can't really get into them. I mean I have played at them but the audiences aren't really my thing at the moment because I'm really little um, but they're still really just as fun but I tend to like steer towards more community events like community festivals and uh, charity benefit things and I go busking a lot and I play at markets so yeah those kind of gigs and then I get asked for little random private things too as well which is exciting. Amber Nichols from The Voice, she asked you to perform with her one time at the Arboretum. That was absolutely amazing. I still remember getting the message, well, she sent me a message on Facebook being like, hey, do you want to open for my show? I don't know the date yet, but I'm just trying to organise. And it was on my birthday she sent me the message. and Happy it was like, birthday. Yeah, it was the best birthday present ever. It was just such a beautiful, beautiful night. It was really intimate. There's about 200, 250 people. Fake smiles, layers of makeup to hide the truth. Rumors I just heard a common phrase followed by your name. So your parents say that when you were younger, you before you could even speak, you were singing. You had a pitch perfect voice. So does it run in the family, the musical talent? Well, actually, I asked my mom this the other day, and she said no. But my great grandmother was a concert pianist and very musical, so yeah. Yeah, so I guess it's in the blood somewhere, the musical bone you've got. Yeah, in yeah. Lines on your body remind you of everything. So your family, do they support your music? They're always at my gigs. They take me to all my gigs. They help me manage all the music things, and they're always making sure that I have like the best equipment, providing I do save up for it. And I'm just so grateful, and I'm so, I'm so, so lucky. Well, they're very lucky to have you, and you're very <laughs> lucky to have them. <laughs> you don't want anyone feeling like you do. Those who are the kindest have gone through the darkest times. And I meeting Taylor that Swift, you. how was that? How was meeting Taylor Swift? Oh, my goodness. I love when people ask me about that, because honestly, I love talking about it. It sounds so bad, but I love it. Still can't believe it happened, because, you know, I've been a massive fan of her since I was seven. I've always wanted to meet her. So we were just like, you know what, it probably won't happen. We're just going to go in and have the best time at the concert. This lady came up to us and we thought we were going to get in trouble again. And we were like, oh. And then she was like, have you girls ever met Taylor before in an American accent? So that's the question they always ask people before they're going to get chosen. So we like lost it. I didn't even answer the question. I'm planning for the future, but I'm just taking things as they come. I definitely want to have developed some sort of musical style because at the moment I'm just trying everything out, seeing what works for me. I'm working on an EP at the moment, so I would have liked to have released that, maybe another one, and keep writing, keep performing. I think what would be really cool to do when I turn 18 or by the time I turn 18 is to do some sort of tour.